Warning, this video may or may not contain insects, magnifying glasses, confusion, OCD behavior, and shrinkage. <laughs> oh gosh, this... Uh, this car is too much fun, man. Uh, good morning, YouTube. We are back, and uh, it is it is actually a morning here on a work day, and I am taking the Hellcat back to dynamic detailing. Uh, it's been a number of weeks since I had the full PPF done, and we've let it sit. It's got some sun on it, and it's you know, cured or curing. But that back panel definitely has uh, some manufacturer defects in just the finish, the way it looks. Uh, it's got some water spot type stuff on it. Kind of weird. Um, even the guys at Dynamic Detailing were like looking at it, just taking pictures of it. And yeah, it's a, it's a head scratcher. So hey, sometimes it happens, right? And maybe it's because also it's a different type of PPF that goes on the matte black portions of this vehicle. Maybe it's not a PPF that's used as often. I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter. We're getting it fixed. Now, the other part of it is I am... Renicky, Prissy, fastidious. I'll take fastidious. <laughs> I don't know, a little bit anal. And uh, <laughs> I once I see that little tiny chip that looks like it was there from the factory uh, on that, I guess you'd call it kind of rear quarter panel uh, C pillar area. Once that got in my head and I'm kind of looking, I'm like, ah, uh, bugs me, man. And I know I can fix it so easy. Um, Dr. Color Chip's a really cool product. I'll reference my other video where I I fixed a pretty deep chip, way worse than this one, on my scat pack and um, and then PPF'd over it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fix the back panel today, the back trunk lid rather, and then I'm gonna have them take the PPF off of that C-pillar area. I'm gonna take the car back home. I'm gonna fix the chip myself. Then I'm gonna return and have it replaced. So, again, another video that you'll see compressed that's gonna take place over like a week or two. And uh, yeah, let's make this dream a reality. All right, here we are, dropping off the red eye again. There she goes, around to the back. Okay, so it is later the same day back in the Hellcat and uh, they have replaced the PPF on the back trunk but have you ever heard of diminishing returns? Oh my god, I'm really sorry. <laughs> may be a case of that because as it turns out there was no flaw in the PPF looks like it was a slight variation in 
the matte paint that's on this car. And according to them, there there's almost no such thing as a perfect matte finish because it's very um, sensitive to the elements. It's very sensitive to, you know, uh, touch, right? I mean, you've heard probably a lot of stories. Folks that have that finish that don't protect it in some kind of way, they don't hold up over time. They look amazing. They look killer. But uh, anyways, it is, I'm, I'm kind of being nitpicky here. Vendicky, Vendicky. Prissy, Prissy, Prissy. Stidious, Stidious. And I say diminishing returns because knowing what I know now, maybe I just wouldn't have put the car through the trauma of peeling that off or whatever. They did a fine job, it looks great. Um, I just don't know if it's going to really make any difference. And honestly, you really can't notice anything. So again, just being kinda. I'll take fastidious. <laughs> anal on stuff. However, we did get that rear uh, quarter panel uh, C-pillar uh, piece of PPF off and now it's up to me to fix fix that uh, chip. So that's my next task. A few moments later. Alright guys, I have been um, starting work on fixing this chip and uh, Definitely not happy with it yet. It's not there. It's a few days later, so one interesting thing is that those water marks in this PPF, they're gone. Yeah, the guy thought that they were that they were gonna show or whatever. They're gone. So I am busy using my Dr. Color chip. I did a few coats last night and trying to figure out what exactly is going on with that chip. I feel like this chip might not be a chip, to be honest with you. It might just be a flaw in the paint. So I'm gonna get a magnifying glass and just kind of take a look at what's going on there before I uh, keep working on this. But I'm not gonna do the whole process. I've already done that video of Dr. Color Chip. I'll put a link here. And uh, we're just gonna keep going on because, again, I gotta take this car back and get this entire piece uh, redone. More moments later. Here it is. So guys, this is the best I can do to magnify this for video, but I swear that looks like it is something that is in the paint itself. So it literally was caught in the paint during the paint process. It could even be a small bug. It's weird or a piece of lint or something, but it is not a chip. All right, guys, so this is kind of classic. Uh, fixing this little tiny microscopic flaw that probably only I notice, um, I, I discovered it is definitely not, or it was definitely not, uh, a chip in the paint. Uh, made a trip over to the store and got me a magnifying glass. As you saw, this is definitely or was definitely something embedded in the paint could have even been a small small little gnat or a bug piece of lint something so what did i do as you saw i uh i got myself the magnifying glass plus some 3000 grit sandpaper then looking through the magnifying glass i took a very fine edge and with just a few very soft strokes that's what she said that freaking thing came right out right now i've just got a little bit of dr color chip on there to kind of i don't know smooth it out a bit but honestly a slight buff on that before we put the ppf back on it's gonna be good as new so coming along nicely i just <laughs> be careful when you look at this stuff because not everything is what you think it is uh go ahead and get yourself a real good magnifying glass. This one is uh, 6X. All right, guys, it's later in the day and I've buffed this out with a, just lightly buffed it with a, a towel a couple of times. And um, bottom line is, it's gone. It went away really nicely. Paint is fine, ready for PPF. 2,000 years later.
All right, guys, it is now another full week later, and where have we landed? Well, the PPF has been put back on the car, and it looks great. The paint chip that wasn't a paint chip, it was definitely something caught, I think, uh, in the clear coat because of the way that it sanded right out. So I don't think it was in the paint. I think it was between uh, layers of clear coat. I don't know exactly how many layers they put on, but it was uh, able to be removed. Uh, dynamic detailing, gave it a quick polish, and it looks great. Another interesting thing is that the rear deck shows absolutely zero of the issues that I was seeing in the PPF, which leaves me to believe that it was a manufacturing defect or a flaw in the PPF and not something that was on the finish of the car because it's gone. It looks great. So all told, I'm super stoked with where we've landed with the car. I have to do one follow-up. That's what they do when they PPF the car. And so when they new, put new pieces of PPF on, you go back and they do a quick follow-up and uh, make sure everything's looking good and all that kind of stuff. In fact, they, they actually want you to do it every year just to check to see if any edges have come up or anything like that. Um, we'll see. A lot of folks just never remember to do that. Anal retentiveness aside, uh, you know, everything's going to have its flaws and not be perfect. And you just kind of have to, to go with that. But this car is as good as it gets uh, going forward from here. So next thing I'm going to do, obviously, I'm going to throw some tint on this bad boy. Um, I'm just kind of trying to figure out what percentage I do. So if you have any suggestions or, or um, ideas on what I should do. And one thing I typically haven't done is tint the front windshield. But I'm kind of thinking thinking about doing that because most people seem to do that. So throw any comments down below and uh, thanks for tuning in. We will see you on the next one. Why does it shrink? It just does. <laughs>